you own construction, who wants to buy one of those? You want a home that's got character, it's got age, it's in a location where the trees are large, the streets have been driven on, and it's got a lot of different character and charm, and you want a pre-owned home. And we're gonna talk about five top reasons that I have of why it makes sense for you to buy a pre-existing home compared to a new home construction. My name is Chris Marty, and I'm the Rebate Guy, and let's jump right into this video. We talk a lot about new home construction on this channel. It's just something that our company does a lot of because in San Antonio and Austin, there is a lot of home building out here. One in every two sales that happens in our markets is new home construction. But we represent a lot of people that want to buy pre-existing homes, right? New home construction is not for them. And they give us different reasons and things of why it makes sense for them and their, their household and their needs to buy a pre-existing home. So today we're going to talk about five common reasons that are my kind of top five that it makes sense for you to buy pre-existing compared to that new home. Reason number one is location. If you look at any type of like city development over the years, the way it usually works is you've got your central kind of core areas where the town was first developed, right? You've got your downtown or inner city areas where the first people that were moving to the town kind of lived, right? And instead of redeveloping those homes as they started to age and, and get a little older, what did they do? They built out, right? And that that's pretty much how every city map looks like, right? They basically built out because the land was cheaper. So developers and different builders would go outside. They would build kind of the next set of homes and then your cities got bigger and bigger and bigger. And that's why most metros in America have, you know, giant circle maps as they were fixated on a focal point and kind of built out and around. And so location is actually number one on this video because these pre-existing homes a lot of times are in places that you cannot buy anymore. Yes, you'll have a random pop-up new construction neighborhood every now and then we call those infill where they'll buy a little pocket piece of land in their city. But for the most part, a lot of the new builds are starting to get pretty far out from the action. And so if you want to live, you know, inner city, right near maybe where you're working or, or where if you've got school or anything like that, a pre-owned home is really that's a big reason to buy one right is they're in locations and you kind of know what's there these locations are fully developed you're not waiting for different amenities and entertainment and restaurants and things to develop with your new home you actually have that picture of what's here now what am i getting and why it makes sense to live where i want to live so location is my number one of why to buy pre-owned over a new construction home my number two reason of why it makes sense to buy pre-owned over new construction is for people that love homes with character character is a subjective word right everyone has character in a different way but in general right when you're buying new construction as you know you know minimal landscaping right they're putting the little shrubs in there and then the baby trees and and you know the neighborhoods they tore down a bunch of trees to build them so it's pretty uh empty right it just feels like hey a lot of houses here not a lot of greenery that's that's different right in an existing neighborhood in a pre-owned neighborhood especially one that's been there for a while you know those trees have grown right a lot of the greenery has come back people have come in and planted their own extra foliage and things like that they made changes to their homes right different paint jobs uh, add-ons customizations right to make it really their own you see the custom mailboxes you see people painting their curves with their favorite sports teams you can go down the street and you've got you know that that overhang of trees right trees that actually observe the seasons and have their leaves fall off and that's again just a big charm right we have a location here in uh, our area in san antonio called hollywood park and when you drive through hollywood park it's like this right big oak trees uh, beautiful homes right and and these homes aren't built in the last two three years most of them are over 15 20 30 years old but they're just really really nice and they have a lot of character to them and that's one of the big reasons why i think a lot of people will choose to buy pre-owned over new home construction is that they want a home that has a story and has already kind of told a story and that you're now able to go into and kind of make part of your own story so that's my number two reason of why it makes sense to buy pre-owned over new number three on my personal list of why it makes sense for pre-owned over new construction is big add-ons right so as you know uh people of course throughout home ownership will do big additions to their homes they will add pools they'll put solar panels on they'll put green rooms on they'll do huge renovations right that's one of the biggest opportunities for you as a buyer to to get ahead is to purchase a home that has had something like this done and it's because rarely do people ever get a hundred percent of the money they put into a big upgrade like that back right it's a little different now since covid but before there were different charts and stuff like this where you could do like a kitchen renovation and only get 30% of the cost back in an in increase in value on your home. A pool was like the highest thing you could do and that was like 40%, right? And so when I throw those numbers out there, what I'm basically saying is that if I built a $100,000 pool in my home, I might only be able to sell my home for forty to $50,000 more. So I, as the old owner, am actually in the hole, right? It's a depreciating asset. Yes, it 
make some money and my value goes up, but I'm not actually recouping 100% of my costs that I put into those projects. So when you come along as the buyer wanting to buy pre-owned over new construction, you're actually able to target homes that have had these big projects done in them, these big renovations, these big additions, and you're actually able to get that, that item that you want without paying full price for it, which to me is a big advantage. Number four on the list of why I think it makes sense to buy pre-owned over new home construction is that it's a finished home and you know exactly what you're getting. And so yes, you can go buy new home construction inventory homes or spec homes as they call them, where they are homes that they started or that kind of started building right, and then they uh, sold to customers, right, that came along that wanted to close on them. But for pre-owned, all of the homes are like that, right? These homes are finished. You know exactly what you're getting. You know what the layout is. You know what the colors are. You have a really, really good idea of what that home is, right? And again, no unexpected timelines where maybe you want to contract on something. You're relocating here. You're PCSing here to San Antonio, and you just can't have an unexpected delay due to your your orders, right, or your, the timeline that you're coming. With the pre-owned homes, the timeline is really dictated by the lender, uh, the seller, of course, when they accept an offer. They're usually pretty good about that date, right, of the closing date, you know, having all their stuff out and being ready to go. We don't really run into too much of that here. You know exactly what you're getting, you know exactly when you're getting it, how long it's going to take, and everything in between. So that's my no number four reason of why it makes sense to buy pre-owned over new home construction. Number five on my list of why it makes sense to buy pre-owned over new home construction comes to like a complete financial outlook picture. And what I mean by that is that because this home has been lived in, right, because this neighborhood has been developed in a lot of cases, you in general have an idea of what your financial outlook is going to look like in that home at a semi-consistent level. Yes, like on a pre-owned home, some unexpected stuff can happen. You could have a big repair. We're not talking about that. We're talking about like, for example, in a new build neighborhood, a lot of times when the neighborhood first opens, they're selling homes very inexpensively to get sales going. And then as sales keep going and keep going, they raise the price, they raise the price. Well, the issue, it's so it's a good thing depending on how you look at it, but it's a bad thing sometimes if you're planning to be somewhere for a long time. At some point, if the neighborhood's big enough, there's times where the home that you bought, they're selling it for 60, 70, $80,000 more than you paid. Good if you're looking to sell cash out of that equity. Bad if you're somebody that is facing rising property tax bills and tax appreciation every single year because the county tax assessor is looking at, hey, your neighbor just bought the same home as you for $80,000 more, which means we're gonna raise your price on your tax appraised value by $80,000. And now you're paying that much more money in additional property taxes every single year. So people that buy early on in new bill neighborhoods sometimes can face some pretty quick rising rapid costs of stuff like a tax appraisal, right? Um, an assessment, things like that as the builder continues to raise the prices to keep their margins to keep selling homes. In a pre-existing neighborhood, right, again, barring those un sight unseen issues that come up down the road, usually that's pretty leveled out, right? Of course, taxes do increase. Everything is going one way, you know, up, right? We're not seeing people go 10, 15% increase year over year consistently, right? We're seeing the three to 5% in our market year over year, which means that any type of financial monthly cost going in, like from a tax appraised value is going to be very gradual, right? You're not going to get hit with a, hey, I can't afford my property tax bills overnight, right? Um, and yes, I do understand as well that this does change on the other end of the spectrum, right? Gentrification, where you've got the really, really aged neighborhoods that people are coming in, buying these homes, tearing them down, and now building really new and expensive ones. And that is happening in an accelerated rate, right? And it's pushing people out. But I'm talking about like your average run of the mill. Hey, this is a neighborhood that's been established 10, 15 years old, right? And it has seen, again, those gradual increases versus some of the sharp ones that come with new home construction. So you can really get a full financial outlook on a pre-existing home as long as you get all the previous uh, owner's information on what uh, everything kind of looked like and have like a really solid budget going into it, knowing that outside of the one-offs, you know exactly what you're going to get. So that's my number five reason of why it makes sense to buy pre-owned over new home construction. Okay, so those are my five reasons of, again, why to buy pre-owned over new home construction. Everybody's different, and I'm sure some of my reasons are different from some of y'all's, and I would love to hear about it. Please comment below on which one do you prefer, new home versus pre-owned, and what are some of the reasons why, or some of the reasons why we may have missed it, and we'll be happy to talk about that in some future content on this page. And as always, please support our channel. We want to be able to promote more content, push out some great stuff and some great informative stuff to help you all make decisions when you buy and sell homes in Texas. And of course, if you're looking to do that and save a lot of money, my name is Chris Marty, the rebate guy, where I save my clients thousands of dollars when they buy and sell homes with me. So please reach out, please like and subscribe to the, con the channel for more amazing content, and we'll catch you next time.